Hello my YouTube friends, it's Lisa Joy Young and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to paint a sugar skull. So I'm super excited because I love sugar skulls and um, the one I'm going to be doing is inspired by Sylvia G who's, I think that's how you pronounce her name, but she has amazing paintings. They're so pretty and if I could pull it off in my home I'd totally decorate with them, but I love her artwork so that's what I'll be inspired by. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is get a chisel brush or a flat brush will work good for this as well. I'm using Diamond FX White and I just really worked the water into the paint to get a nice creamy consistency. And I'm going to go ahead and just paint uh, my entire face with that. And the reason I'm painting it instead of sponging it is um, it's really hard with this paint to get like a nice um, consistent base that's not streaky and I just found that painting it usually seems to work a little better than sponging with this type of paint and I'm gonna paint everywhere but around my eyes so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a circle around my eyes because those are gonna be a dark color anyway so you don't want to paint them white okay so I got the white base it's um it was a pain in the butt to do, and it's certainly not perfect. So, and it also, um, it kind of cracks with my facial movements. So I would definitely recommend like a grease paint or a white foundation if you have it. Um, if not, then go ahead and use the um, water activated paints, but try to apply it thinner than what I did. All right, so now I have some Wolf, Wolf Brothers Metallic Purple, and this Metallic Purple is the darkest of Wolf Diamond FX and Tag. So that's why I'm using this one, and I'm going to use it for my eyes. So I'm just going to draw the shape around the eyes that I'm going to do. So it's going to be pretty circular up onto my eyebrows. I'm actually going to go over my eyebrows with it so that I don't have to worry about um, doing any type of designs or line work over my brows. I'm going to fill it in all over. Alright, so I got both my eyes done and I'm going to make them look a little more dimensional by using some eyeliner and some black eyeshadow. So I'm just taking some gel black eyeliner and I'm gonna fill in my waterline. Okay, so I put some shadow on my eyes and I got some fallout here, but that's okay because this will cover it up. I have some Diamond FX Red and a number six round brush. It's a low Cornell Comfort. And I'm going to do half circles all the way around my eye with the red. So I'm just going to do a shape like this. Okay, and because of the white background, I'll have to do two, um, two layers of this, two coats. So and then, um, and you don't want them right next to each other because there's going to be like a green outline. So leave some space and just try to make them all the same size. Now this part is tedious and time consuming. Okay, now I'm going to take some Wolf Metallic Green and a number one um, Grumbacher brush, and I'm going to outline these. So, oh, and also I had them bigger on the outside and a little smaller on the inside so they wouldn't crowd the nose area. So my son just woke up with a nightmare and I had to go comfort him like this. I was not much of a comfort to him. <laughs> Poor thing, he was so scared. 
tired, oh my gosh. All right, anyways, I got my eyes all done. It took forever, pain in the butt. Um, now I'm gonna be doing the spider web on my head. And this part is probably um, the hardest part of the whole thing is this is getting the straight clean lines especially if you're doing it on yourself on someone else it's not that hard on yourself it's difficult so I'm just gonna dot out where I want my spiderweb lines to go I'm gonna have a little design here so I want the spiderweb to end about right here okay so that's the middle and then I'm gonna draw where to start it and then let's see here right here do a matching one over here okay and then I'm gonna have one right here okay so that's pretty even now I'm just gonna connect the dots this is um, pretty much the hardest thing in all the universe so I will not be talking during this part <laughs> And to connect them, all you're going to do is a swooping motion and then take a dry brush and pull that, pull it down and that'll shade it for you. got my spider web all done and as you can see the shading kind of covers up the wiggly lines so now what I'm gonna do is an upside down heart and I have that metallic purple color all right so press down press down and you get a perfect little heart now I'm taking a number one brush with some red and I'm just gonna outline my heart So now it's time to do the nose, and the nose is just a spade shape. I'm going to start about right here, and I'll just do a straight line right down the center so I have something to work off of. Then I'm going to drag it down and go all the way down like that. Okay, to finish the nose, just draw a line. About that far down and you want it to be thicker at the bottom than it is at the top so bring it up like that and there you go you got your little spade shape okay now it's time to do the mouth and I'm gonna take a number one brush. No, you know what, I'm gonna take a zero and some black to do this. So from the corner of my mouth, I'm just gonna do a skinny line. Like that. So I'm gonna continue the line in kind of like a, sort of like a jaw pattern. like that. going to do the teeth marks so getting a little more black you just flick your brush so make sure your paint is nice and wet for this okay 
and they're going to get smaller as you go um, down. Okay, so I'm all done with the jaw and the lip area, so I'm going to do the chin, and then I will be all done. Thank the Lord. Okay. All right, so for the chin, I think I'm going to outline it first. I just feel like that might be easier. Um, so I'm going to start down here with the circle. So I'm just making loops coming from that circle. Kind of like a flower. And now I'm going to do one more set of petals. And these ones are pointy. Okay, so I'm done. Here's the completed look. All right, I'm not gonna lie, this took forever. So if you're planning on doing it, make sure you um, set aside a lot of time for it because there's a lot of tedious detail and you have to be careful with your line work and it's just a big old pain in the butt. So make sure you have a lot of time to do this. I hope you guys liked it and that you can use it at an event or wear it as a Halloween costume. And if you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye.